Hello friends, hope you all are doing good and in today's video we are going to see five major differences in uh, software testing. So we will go through each and every one of these differences and the, be the best part of this video is that I will take a single example and through this sing single example we will try to see like uh, what each and every difference uh, has to cover and uh, this is something like I used to get confused a lot. So there is a suggestion that before uh, before I tell the answer so you have seen the first question that the difference between verification and validation so before listening to the answer I uh, strongly suggest you that take a copy and a pen and write down whatever you can think of uh, this will like this will only benefit you otherwise like after I, I, I have told you the answer you will think that okay uh, my, uh, my answer was correct. So this used to happen with me when I um, used to prepare for this manual testing uh, questions. So I am telling you from my personal experience that before listening to the answer, try to solve it yourself. And uh, the best part is that like take a pen and paper and write it down the major like keywords. Okay, so let's start. Uh, so what is the difference between verification and validation? This is a very important uh, interview question. Okay, and uh, the prerequisite uh, of this of this video is that like if you have less than three years of experience then this is strongly recommended for you and this can go till five years of experience after that like these questions i think are not that much mandatory or necessary and after five years like everyone uh, can relate with these questions okay so let's start so i'll take an example so let's say we are building a car okay this is a car my drawing is little bad not little but very bad so like we have to make this car okay and through this car this is our end product and through this product we will try to see each and every like uh, every question okay every difference based on that and one more thing that before uh, proceeding with the video if you want you can switch to 1.5x speed for the better viewing experience okay so the verification part is are we following the process so this is more regarding the process and this is regarding output okay then you will ask shellish what is what is the process and what is the output so the process is something while making a car if you are following the right approach so in our case like in testing so are we maintaining the test cases what is the test strategy okay there are a couple of documents are the documents uploaded correctly and at the right place so these are the process like i'll give you an example that in some cases verification will fail and the validation will be right okay so what are those cases so while making a car the car is working fine perfectly fine and everything is like up to the mark according to what customer has asked for and everything is good okay so it has passed the validation like the output whatever the customer has asked us we have delivered the same but while making the car if the workers were not wearing a helmet in the manufacturing line okay so that will like that is a part of the process and in that case the verification will fail okay so just remember these two keywords that in verification we focus basically on the process and in the validation it is the output okay so and i have like uh, put all those keywords here also so you can have a look at those and in the end like uh, you can check the description box and get this document okay now coming to the second question the difference between regression and retesting okay so let us understand uh, through the same example of making the car that okay like after this i will not make more cars so possibly the developer okay the guys who are making the car have changed the headlights okay so in that case i have to check that uh, if you see the steering wheel have the uh, lights control okay so while testing the lights i'll also check that uh, other areas are working correctly or not okay so i will see side areas okay and so what can be the side areas the side areas can be the horn is working fine or possibly the wipers are working correctly okay but they have changed the light but we have to uh, test the lights that will come under retesting and we have to uh, check the following like uh, side areas also so this this can be like checking the wipers and uh, increasing the volume uh, 
okay uh, of the uh, sound system so that is that can be uh, come under regression testing so again like a couple of keywords which you have to remember uh, is that like side uh, regression in regression testing we have to cover for the side areas okay and in retesting we just have to replicate the defect and uh, verify that it is working correctly or not okay now coming to smoke and sanity testing so this is pretty interesting stuff because uh, when i used to prepare i used to confuse uh, between these four terms okay so now but after watching this video i'm sure you will not be uh, like confused like me so let's say uh, so uh, you have to understand that uh, we don't make a car in one go okay so there can be a version 1.0 of the car in which they have only made a prototype okay in version 1.1 then goes 1.2 then comes 2.0 okay similarly like uh, these are the improvements in the car they have made so in the initial phases let's say they have installed the tires of the car and say now the car is in running position but let's say they have installed the car and uh, while testing we are not able to move the car so in that case the smoke testing will fail okay if the car is not moving then what's the point of testing the following things correct so the main functionality okay so the aim of smoke testing is to reject the build so that we don't have to like put in more efforts while testing okay and the sanity testing can be let's say this is version 5.2 and at this moment they have introduced a new feature uh, let's say rear wiper okay so we just have to see that all the surface uh, like the basic functionalities are working correctly and we just have to test this part also okay the basic stuff and our sanity testing is done but like uh, this is done at the later stages and at this stage we don't have to do smoke testing because now we have the confidence that okay this this is working fine then we can proceed further and the keywords for this is that uh, like uh, the smoke testing is kind of a general health checkup okay so once they have made the product so we just have to see that okay the basic functionalities are working fine and this is also called confidence testing correct and the sanity testing is uh, the specialized one so the rear wiper is an example of uh, like special functionality okay and we just have to see that the build changes are working correctly and this is also called surface testing and now the bonus question the bonus question is like what is the difference between these four terms okay so what is the difference between regression retesting smoke and sanity okay so we will like uh, combine all those four terms and see like what is the stages in uh, like which one will be done first okay so let's say uh, right now we are at 1.2 version so the uh, like the uh, process will be that firstly we will do which one tell tell us like out of these four which one uh, will be do first we will do smoke testing okay just to reject the build after that we will go with sanity the third is like retesting and after that regression okay this is like 95% true why 95% and why not 100% because like according to projects and certain other like uh, the test strategy we can uh, change this so possibly uh, like the sanity is not required at this level okay there was uh, something major and we just have to do smoke and after that uh, we have to do retesting okay so like uh, that's why like i have told you this is not 100% applicable because according to different projects uh, we uh, like we change our uh, test strategy okay now the same question regarding the uh, what we have discussed earlier that the difference between test strategy and test plan so again like we will take the same example that we are making a car so before making a car and uh, like while taking the order from the customer okay so we have to define the test strategy that what uh, like how are we going to approach okay the uh, maybe like the price of the project and how we are going to uh, like make test cases and couple of uh, like other plans so this is done before the start of the project and here only we have to decide uh, that how much effort it is going to take us and whether like this is a good project or not okay so 
this will come under test scenario and no uh, this will this will this is a part of test strategy and after that uh, we have to make a test plan so the test plan is that how uh, like the different list okay when are we going to start the test phase and uh, when are we going like different phases and different deliverables so after each each phase so let's say in phase 1 we have to make a prototype of a car okay just like uh, designing 3d design of the car in phase 2 possibly uh, like we have to start the basic skeleton okay here actually we have we are designing the car in actual physical car okay so similarly there are couple of documents which will come out of each phase that we have to focus okay so this is the difference between strategy and plan similarly like uh, they will be a part of scenario and cases so in scenario again let's take an example the same example that a developer has fixed the headlight so headlight this is this is the headlight so this is a scenario we have to test the headlight so what all the different test cases which will be including in this scenario that whether the uh, like the light is working in rainy conditions right so that's how we make the test cases like different uh, permutation combinations if it is day then the headlight should automatically turn off or maybe this is a bs6 car then the headlights are if this is a bs6 car then the headlights are turned 24 into 7 like whenever the engine is on so these are the different test cases but on a on the upper area this is a test scenario right we are testing the headlight that is a test scenario and whatever the particular test cases will come so that that is the reason like test cases is a sub part of test scenario subset of test scenario okay and again like there are uh, there is an approach how to write a test case okay expected actual the test steps date okay test case id so that we can uh, like cover in a different video so i hope uh, like out uh, like after watching this video you have most of your doubts clear and still if you have any doubt just comment down below and uh, we can discuss more on it and if you want uh, this document i will like uh, share the document in the description box and also i would like to tell you that i have made a dedicated video of one hour on the manual testing course so you can watch that video and it will give you more understanding of how like these things are working because in that i haven't covered the software development life cycle the software testing life cycle okay and if you want we can cover it in a separate video so just comment down below and if you have liked this video just hit that like button that will surely let me know that you are enjoying the content okay thank you guys shailesh kumar signing off bye